Well, our next guest is no stranger to RFD TV or especially the Cowboy Channel. Saddle Bronc Rider turned country music artist with a significant history in both sport and music, and he just released a brand new single, which comes on the heels of his latest album, One of These Days. Welcome back to the studio, Chancey Williams. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me on today. I appreciate it. You know, it's interesting that you can cover two genres with us. You got the Western sports, and now you're doing yeah. the music, and so it fits right into everything we do around here. For sure. You're from Wyoming, yep. great ag state, bronc rider, now transitioning into country music as an artist. How did that happen? And is this something that you always longed to do? Yeah, you know, I always liked singing and playing growing up. But, you know, I grew up on a ranch in Moorcroft, Wyoming, and uh, grew up ranching and rodeoing, so I kind of assumed I'd do that most of my career. But started singing, and it kind of took off, so I had to make a choice whether I should be a saddle bronc rider or a singer, and I thought I could do this a lot longer. But it's you know, everything's in the Western world. So, I mean, the growing up on a ranch and growing up rodeo has helped our music career a lot because we get to play a lot of rodeos and know a lot of people throughout the United States that that are in the Western world and put rodeos on. So it's, they kind of go hand in hand. They absolutely go yeah. hand in hand. Speaking of which, you were one of two artists, as I understand, who had an opportunity to perform on the main stage at Cheyenne Frontier Days. What was that like? Yeah, it's awesome. You know, like a, not a lot of, rodeo cowboys going to music because you have to dedicate most of your life you know to being that successful at rodeo it takes all your time up and then on the other hand a lot of people have to dedicate their whole lives to music so it's it's hard to balance both but uh you know i rode at cheyenne when i was younger and never dreamed i'd ever play the main stage but years went by and then we got to open from real haggard there Ooh. and several others yeah <laughs> we love merle around oh, yeah. here okay so quick question any of your competitors come out to watch you perform now what was that like yeah it's it's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun so i mean playing music now we play all these rodeos it's kind of like i still get to rodeo except for i don't have to get on anymore but <laughs> i see a lot of friends on the road that are you know still competing and uh so we kind of get to double up rodeo and end music. That's right. And now that you know, there's there's no bad blood between anybody. <laughs> you just right. be on the same team. Yeah, I don't have to get bucked off anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Now, you've been visiting several Fisher House Foundation locations during this year. Tell us about that effort for you. Yeah, so the Fisher House are something that's really unique that not a lot of people know about. So, you know, if like it's for veterans and current military, if, if you get sick or something, they put up your family for the week at, or, or for however long at these houses. And they're always built next to VA hospitals across the U.S. I think there's 97 or 98 of them built all across the U.S. And not a lot of people know about it. So, you know, in time of need, when your loved one gets sick or something or needs surgery or something that's uh, either a veteran or active military, they put the families up instead of having to stay in hotel rooms and stuff. So we try to visit those whenever we're on tour across the states and go visit the families that are there and time and need, it's kind of a fun deal. I love it. Yeah. They get to be one of their heroes. Oh, shoot. I just happy to give them a little entertainment when we get there. Well, you're going to give <laughs> us a little entertainment, which we're super excited yeah. about. Tell us about your new single. Yeah, it's a new song called I'm on the Whiskey. I wrote it with my friends Trent Wilman and uh, Jody Stevens. And like you said, we just put an album out this this summer. And this, is, this one's not on the album, just another single after. But it's just a fun song that's kind of a feel good song for a guy down in the dumps I guess <laughs> where can people go to hear your music because I think there might be some guys out there I mean we all go down in the dumps once in a while that's yeah. just something that we can all relate to right what where can people go to hear your music if they want to hear yeah, it? it's all over you know it's on Spotify I got I think this is my sixth or seventh album we put out so it's on Spotify and Apple music anywhere people find music and chanceywilliams.com has links to all that stuff so we always encourage people to go out and stream our stuff you know the our fan base doesn't typically stream. They just come to shows and buy buy albums still, but we encourage everybody to go out and stream the heck out of the stuff. You've got to love the traditional values of your audience, our audience. Uh, they still like to do things the old-fashioned way. They yeah, appreciate great live music. And so do we. We still kind of do things the old-fashioned <laughs> way, but we're very fortunate to have the fan base of, you know, the Western world and the rodeo life and farmers and ranchers. It's It's got us to where we are today for sure in music so it's it's been nice to have that following well i'm sure you've got a lot of young men and women who look up to you so thank you for setting such a great example well, we try to do our best to represent you know the western way of life and the great state of wyoming everywhere we go so we always try to do our best job of that well thank you for that well thank you we really appreciate you joining us today we're going to stick around and get a weather report coming up next you're watching rfd tv rural america's most important network
But we had a chance to talk with Chancey Williams today. What a great opportunity. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. You're watching Market Day Report only on RFD-TV. We'll be right back.